The National Bus Company NBC was a nationalised bus company that operated in England and Wales between 1969 and 1988. NBC did not run buses itself, but was the owner of a number of regional subsidiary bus operating companies. History Topic background Following the Labour Party victory at the 1966 general election, Barbara Castle was appointed Minister for Transport. Castle immediately ordered a review of public transport, with a view to formulating a new transport policy. Among the issues to be tackled were the ownership and operation of bus services, which were rapidly losing patronage and profitability due to increased prevalence of private motor cars. The state owned a considerable proportion of scheduled bus operators outside the major cities, having obtained the Tilling Group companies in 1948 as a byproduct of nationalizing the railways. The Tilling Group was subsequently placed under the ownership of the Nationalised Transport Holding Company (THC). London Transport was also nationalised in 1948 and others voluntarily acquiesced, such as Red and White in 1950. When the Labour Party suddenly lost power to the Conservatives in 1951, the nationisation policy remained unfinished. Castle proposed forming regional transport authorities, which would take over the THC subsidiaries and municipal transport undertakings in their area, and would also have the power to acquire private bus operators. However, in November 1967 British Electric Traction BET unexpectedly offered to sell its bus operations to the government. BET, who had been the only major private bus operating group, received £35 million for its 25 provincial bus companies and 11,300 vehicles. The deal meant that the state or municipal bus operators now operated some 90% of scheduled bus services in England and Wales. Instead of forming the regional authorities, the government published a white paper proposing the merger of the THC and BET organisations into a single national bus company. The recommendations of the white paper formed part of the Transport Act 1968. The 1968 Act also reorganised the already nationalised bus operation in Scotland, where subsidiaries formed the Scottish Bus Group. Topic formation The National Bus Company was formed on 1 January 1969. In 1970, the company was enlarged when it acquired the Country Area Buses of London Transport as London Country Bus Services, the bus operations of the County Boroughs of Exeter and Luton, and the Gosport and Fareham Omnibus Company. Trading under the name of Provincial, buses were operated by locally managed subsidiary companies, with their own fleet names and liveries. In the early years of the company, there was some rationalization, generally leading to the amalgamation of operators into larger units and the transfer of areas between them. One was the merging of Aldershot and District with Thames Valley on 1 January 1972. Another example was the transfer of the landlocked Trowbridge operations from Western National to Bristol Omnibus in 1970. Topic corporate identity Following the appointment of Fred Wood as chairman in 1972, NBC introduced corporate images. Henceforward its coaches were branded as National Travel and painted in unrelieved white, with the NBC logo and the National name in alternate red and blue letters. The services were rebranded as National Express soon afterwards. The addition of blue and white stripes appeared in 1978. National Travel was the country's first attempt at a uniformly marketable express network, which superseded associated motorways and the plethora of other services provided by individual NBC subsidiaries. The coaches were managed by a few areas and included travel agent booking offices based at major bus stations. A hub and spoke system operated with the main hub at Cheltenham though this did not serve the north of England very well. Around the same time the company launched a wide number of UK holiday services under the banner National Holidays. This brand and its travel agent booking offices existed until the mid-1990s when the Coach Holiday division closed. The National Express overseas travel business was relaunched under the name Eurolines. This brand now operates services from the UK across Europe, booked through the main National Express website. 
In the 1970s all local service buses adopted a uniform design, generally in either leaf green or poppy red, initially with white relief, and bearing the company fleet name in white with the new NBC N Arrow logo. There were, however, exceptions. Buses operating in the area of the Tyne and Ware Passenger Transport Executive became yellow in a similar fashion to the PTE's own fleet but to the NBC design. Some buses operating within West Yorkshire were liveried in WIPTE Verona Green and Cream, Jones Aberbeeg, and Midland General both liveried in blue until 1980, and the Northern General subsidiary, Sunderland District, also retained blue for a short period. Topic. Area of operation Although NBC operated throughout England and Wales, it was not a monopoly. Services were provided by London Transport in Greater London, the fleets of the municipal bus companies and passenger transport executives, and by independent operators in some rural areas and a few small towns. Bus manufacture The NBC inherited from the transport holding company 75% shareholdings in chassis manufacturer Bristol Commercial Vehicles and body builder Eastern Coach Works. In 1969 NBC formed a joint venture with British Leyland who owned the other 25% of Bristol and ECW, by means of which British Leyland became a 50% owner of the NBC's manufacturing companies. The joint venture designed and built a new single-deck bus, the Leyland National. The first was delivered in 1972, and it remained in production until 1986. The National was also available to other bus operators. In 1982 NBC sold its 50% interest in the joint venture including Bristol and ECW to British Leyland. Service reforms In the late 1970s and early 1980s services were reviewed under a process known within Instigator Midland Red as the Viable Network Project and subsequently more generally as the Market Analysis Project map. Each company carefully considered its existing and potential new demands, surveyed both on and off bus, and recast local networks to reflect the results, indicating to local authorities those services requiring subsidy. As part of the map local area identities were invariably introduced, with new fleet names applied to buses, bus stops, timetables and publicity. The process culminated in the splitting of several larger NBC subsidiaries. Topic. Deregulation and privatization From 1986 buses were deregulated and progressively privatized, and the remaining larger companies were forcibly broken up. NBC was divided into 70 units, with the first sale being of national holidays to Pleasure Armour in July 1986. The last sale was completed in April 1988. The sale spawned a renewed interest in individual liveries, and the double N logo disappeared. However, it was kept by National Express when it was sold to their management, and continued to be used until 2003, when the NBC logo finally disappeared in favor of a new logo, since replaced in 2007. Most local companies passed from state control to management buyouts. The independence of many however, was short-lived, as they were acquired by the emerging large private bus groups, represented today by Abellio Arriva First Group Go Ahead Group National Express RATP Group Stagecoach Group Transdev Subsidiaries <inaudible> 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 Topic original companies The original bus operating subsidiaries of the National Bus Company in 1969 and 1970 were, Aldershot and District Beeline operated the northern franchise of Alder Valley, introducing a minibus hopper called Busy Bees. Bath services, absorbed by Bristol Omnibus in December 1969. Buses continued to carry Bath fleet names. 
Black and White Luxury Coaches Brighton, Hove and District, became a subsidiary of Southdown in January 1969 Bristol Cheltenham District, a subsidiary of Bristol County Motors, absorbed by Yorkshire Traction 1969 Crinages, coach fleet name and livery used by Southern Vectus Crossville Cumberland Devon General, absorbed Exeter Corporation buses 1 April 1970 East Kent East Midland Eastern National East Yorkshire Eastern Counties Fountain Coaches, coach fleet name and livery used by Southern Vectus Gateshead and District, a subsidiary of Northern General Green Line, coach fleet name and livery used by London Country Greenslades Tours, coaches only grey cars, coach fleet name and livery used by Devon General Hans and Dorset Hebel, coaches only Jones, independent operator acquired April 1969 Lincolnshire London Country, formed 1 January 1970 from the country area services of London Transport Maidstone and District Mansfield District Mexborough and Swinton, Absorbed by Yorkshire Traction 1969 Midland General Midland Red Birmingham and Midland Motor Omnibus Company Neath and Cardiff Luxury Coaches Northern General North Western Knots and Derby, fleet name used by Midland General, it had been a separate company until 1953. Oxford City of Oxford Motor Services Potteries Motor Traction Provincial Gosport and Fareham Omnibus Company acquired from the Swain Group the 1st of January 1970 Red and White Services Ronda Ribble Royal Blue Coach Fleet Name and Livery used by Western National Samuelson Coaches Only Shamrock and Rambler Coach Fleet Name and Livery used by Hans and Dorset also the Bournemouth operation of National Travel Southwest Sheffield United Tours South Midland, coaches only South Wales Southdown Southern National, absorbed by Western National in November 1969 Southern Vectus Standwick, coach operating subsidiary of Ribble Stratford Blue Stratford upon Avon Blue Motors a subsidiary of Midland Red Sunderland District, a subsidiary of Northern General Thames Valley Traction Thomas Bros Tillings Transport, coaches only Timpson a Timpson and Sons coaches only Trent Motor Traction Tynemouth and District Transport, a subsidiary of of Northern General Tyneside Omnibus Company, a subsidiary of Northern General United Automobile Services United Counties, acquired Luton Corporation Buses January 1970 United Welsh Venture Transport, acquired April 1970 and immediately placed under Northern General control as a subsidiary Wakefields, absorbed by Northern General 1969 West Riding West Yorkshire Western National Western Welsh Wilts and Dorset Yorkshire Traction Yorkshire Woolen Bristol Omnibus Company also also operated city services in Bristol for Bristol Joint Services, a joint undertaking of the company and Bristol City Council. It also leased services from the County Borough of Gloucester, buses in the city bearing a Gloucester fleet name and city coat of arms. Keithley West Yorkshire Services, jointly owned by West Yorkshire and the Borough of Keithley, operated by this company. They also provided municipal bus services for the County Borough of York on behalf of the York West Yorkshire Joint Committee. Topic: Consolidation. NBC pursued a policy of merging subsidiaries to form larger regional companies. At the same time, some of its operations and depots passed to passenger transport executives. On 1 January 1972, Northwestern was split up, part going to the SELNEC private, the remainder to Crossville and Trent. In 1973 the operations of Midland Red within the area of West Midlands private passed to the executive. By 1978 the following bus operating companies existed, Alder Valley, formed 1 January 1972 from Aldershot and District and Thames Valley Bristol, absorbed Cheltenham District Traction in 1975, separate Cheltenham fleet name retained Crossville Cumberland Devon General became subsidiary of Western National in 1971 East Kent East Midland, absorbed Mansfield District in 1975, separate Mansfield fleet name retained East Yorkshire Eastern County Eastern National Hanson Dorset, absorbed Wilts and Dorset 1972 Jones, finally absorbed by National Welsh 1980 Lincolnshire London Country Maidstone and District Midland Red Birmingham and Midland Motor Omnibus Company absorbed Stratford Blue 1971 National Travel London, formed 1974 from Samuelson, Timpsons and Tillings as National Travel Southeast, renamed 1978 National Travel East, formed 1973 as National Travel Northeast 
East from Hebel, Sheffield United Tours, renamed 1977 National Travel Southwest, formed 1973 from Black and White, Greenslades, Grey Cars National Travel West formed 1977 from National Travel Northwest, formed 1974 from Standerwick and National Travel Midlands, formed 1973 from part of former South Midland National Welsh, formed 1978 from Western Welsh which had absorbed Ronda in 1971 and Red and White Northern General, absorbed Sunderland District, Tynemouth and District, Venture 1975, absorbed Tyneside, Gateshead and District 1976 Oxford City of Oxford Motor Services absorbed South Midland January 1971 Potteries Motor Traction Provincial Gosport and Fareham Omnibus Company Ribble South Wales, absorbed Nathan Cardiff, Thomas Bros, United Welsh 1971 Southdown, absorbed Brighton, Hove and District, March 1974 Southern Vectus Trent Motor Traction, absorbed Midland General 1971 United Automobile Services United Counties West Riding West Yorkshire Western National Yorkshire Traction Yorkshire Woolen, under West Riding Management Topic breakup and privatization In 1981 Midland Red, weakened by losing its core area, was broken into six smaller operating companies. Most of the national travel companies were closed down in the mid-1980s, with coaches mainly going to local bus companies. Wessex National was formed from part of National Travel South West, and Pilgrim Coaches from part of National Travel West. In preparation for the introduction of deregulation in 1986, and for privatization soon after, many of the companies were broken up into smaller units. In some cases the names of earlier companies, such as Wilts and Dorset or North Western, were revived, although often with quite different areas from their namesakes. Two additional non-bus operating subsidiaries were also disposed of in 1988, National Express Limited was sold to its management. Victoria Coach Station Limited passed to the state-owned London Transport. The Scarborough operations of United Automobile Services passed to East Yorkshire Motor Services in September 1986. 